I'm Kay Rosette and welcome to my channel. So basically, festive season is over. Now reality kicks in. The uncertainty kicks in. Frustrations are happening. You feel overwhelmed. You might feel uh, out of control. You might feel like you don't have any control of your life. You the fear of the un the unknown, not knowing when is it that you're gonna feel employed, be employed again, not feel employed. Sorry about that. Especially these are some of the feelings that we feel, especially post post com com self. Like if you were doing community service last year and you were now used to being paid every monthly, you didn't have to stress a lot of things because when you're doing final year, everything was just processed for you and you just had to relocate basically. However, now is the new reality. Now you have to be independent and you might be uncertain on how to do things basically. And then you... Um, not sure where is it the way you should look for a job and how you should look for a job and everything um fortunately i've compiled some of the list that things that have worked for me in the past when i was looking for a job and um this is just recommendations and this make sure just know that this video is not sponsored so without wasting most of your time first web, first thing first the government websites right uh, especially if you are interested in working in the public sector, then obviously you will check the government websites. There's DPSA that we all know of. Um, there's Houting Health, if you are in health, interested in the health department. Interested, depends on which department you're interested in. So I'm just going to show on how you can get the DPSA. So DPSA usually post new posts for everyone, basically every Friday. Um, plus now that the festive season is over, for sure they'll start posting again from this week on the 12th going forward. Uh, they post every Friday. So you basically just have to type in the date of that Friday. So for this week will be 12th January 2024, uh, the PSA.pdf. That's what you usually type out. But I'll, I'll put a screen record so that you can see what I'm talking about basically. And then you can, when you get there, you just scroll and scroll to your profession or whatever that you post you're interested in. And then luckily, um, KROZ compiled a Z8 how, a video on how to fill in a Z8 correctly, which I'll put here and I'll put in the description box and recommendation towards the end of the video and everything so that you know when you're applying for this government post on how to fill in the Z8 reform so that you increase your chances of being shortlisted basically and you meet the selection criteria. So basically, I on that video, I elaborated on how to properly fill in the Z33, made examples and explaining it throughout there and everything. So make sure that you check out that video so that you know how to fill it in properly. Then on number two, we have Indeed, uh, as much as it sounds like Indeed. You know when someone says uh, Indeed? <laughs> like, yeah. Um, so Indeed, it's uh, mostly they post private um, companies. They post everything also there and mostly posts that are advertising indeed they require you to do online application so the things that i've said also on my z reform and everything and every other application that you are filling in especially if you are interested and you want to be shortlisted and to be recommended for an interview to qualify for an interview basically because this this is there there are steps right so make sure this applies to every other website and everything that you're doing in life basically make sure that you fill in the application form correctly and fully don't leave anything. If something's not applicable, indicate that it's not applicable. Don't leave a space and, and think that they'll know that um, it means you're not applicable. It's not applicable or that you don't know have it, you know. Just make sure that you indicate that and everyone is aware, basically. And then the third one being LinkedIn. So LinkedIn is more of a professional social media platform. Um, social media, you can connect with different people. You can connect with different, uh, basically, it's an international website. It's like any other social media but it's for professionals, right? And um, you can put there, if, even if you can still use this for other things, but let me not mix things. Uh, make sure that you create a profile that is looks professional and you present yourself well. Uh, wear formal clothes. Wear um, post about yourself, basically. But don't post like, um, I'm K. Rose, Ed, Miguel, I'm the, uh-uh, we're not doing that in LinkedIn. We're being professional. Uh, basically, K. Rose, the graduate, uh, occupational therapist, graduate, yada, yada, yada. But make sure that everything that you put in there stands out, speaks out, so that you may attract potential uh, employers, hirers, agencies, and everything. But also make sure consciously, caution, this applies for every except. Make sure that you don't get scammed. But I think I'll make the questions at the end of the video. Let me not mix them. So 
and make sure that you communicate with these people and arrange properly usually they do zoom in meetings and everything sometimes they have to send emails and then you might also be attracted by people from maybe uk people from outside of the country and everything and then like proper agencies not scammers and then uh you may follow that routine basically make sure that you do everything properly like i like i said make sure you fill in every application form fully okay number four i'm going to talk about social media social media in general like the social media platforms that you know facebook instagram uh twitter what else is there whatsapp and more basically youtube not so much but yeah so they are Pay Facebook pages for like occupational therapy, allied health, or even um, other departments, regardless of what what profession that you have or what post you're look, looking for. So they do that, and then for OTs, we also have our own WhatsApp groups. I think for all other professionals, I think they do have that. And then um just know how to join there basically um but i don't want to make this solely for ot's i just want to make this for generally for everyone else out there so now long story short uh my first employment i was um an administrator at this printing company uh when i took a gap year after metric basically before i had um registered for ot that's my story and then so i was looking for employment i was looking everywhere i was checking everywhere using junk mail using everything um some of the things i had to get them via my grandmother i i had to ask her like jack mail yellow page and everything and all these other websites things that she told me about uh, but i didn't fully understand them so i resorted to something that i'm used to like facebook right and then um i kept searching on facebook and everything not uh, checking locally where can i find employment i was checking basically everywhere using these different websites some of them i forgot them right now because that was <laughs> years ago but um, now, long story short, I landed uh, my first employment with, to be an administrator from Facebook, basically. Mugai posted my former, my former and late uh, employer posted about his, that he's looking for an administrator in his company and everything. And then he wrote the requirements that are required. Luckily, it was only the metric certificate, which I had already. So I went there and went to apply. Uh, uh, in post and obviously it's not employees usually if they advertise post they'll put an email that if you are interested just post um send them an email so i wrote that from kind of my first time i think for first for my email and i was there like um good good morning say um you introduce yourself and then i'm kind of silly um i'm interested in this post of being an administrator and then please see attached basically i attached my cv and, and the, the documents that were that were required so make sure that when you apply for everything this applies for everything else that you use the you follow exactly the requirements so even if you are looking for a job from the dpsa or, or get it from everything make sure because now the updated version it says um ZD3 and the CV, detailed CV. So make sure that you you follow the requirements exactly as they are, because that may might disqualify you basically. Um, so uh, now going back to my story, that's how I basically I landed my first job from Facebook, simple as Facebook. I didn't know I was still young, I didn't know what I was doing. Uh, I was nineteen then. To my everything, I got I got there basically. It was actually my second job, not my first job. But we'll get to the first job part <laughs> as we're moving on. Um, now, the following point is outreach. This is where this is where I actually got my first, 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 first job, first job ever. So this was after completing. Uh, but I'm, I know you're not here for me. So let me just say doing outreach, basically putting yourself out there, going out going out with your CV, applying basically into to different stores, retails, they're usually, um, almost said forever hiring, but usually they are hiring, there's always some gap somewhere, uh, but I check, don't be shy basically, because being shy, you're not going to eat, you're not going to have bread because of your shy and everything, and so make sure that you put yourself out there, go to the stores, ask, are they hiring now, so that's how I got my first December job. Um, I was at December casual basically. So we all know that usually retail stores around December, October, November, they hire a lot of people because they need more people shop basically. So they need more stuff and everything. So that's how I got my first job. I was working at this um, 
I was working at Dicky Town. And then um, that's how I got it. I went there, advertised myself that women asked me questions. And then I was only interview on the spot. <laughs> I didn't even have to prepare. And fortunately, I did secure that job. But however, um, other stores, they do have um, a different routine. So it just depends on which day you pop up in and um, God's grace and everything, right? So um, then lastly, uh, almost forgot an important other website, Pnet. Um, with capital P and then there's net at the bottom. So you just type in the, I'm going to put it in the screen record here and everything and show you how um, it works. You just search there. You can search if you want a part-time job, full-time job or whatever vacancy that you're looking for. Pnet also works. Um, then now lastly, I'm going to talk about um, self-employment. Let's say you don't want to be employed. Let's say you don't want to be employed by anyone. It's the word, the self-explanatory. So I didn't have to elaborate on that one. But anyway, I see collab. So you can use your talents, your skills. Uh, it might have been skills that you have obtained um, throughout the course of your life. Or it might have been skills that you were born with, talents that you were born with. Let's say, for example, um, or sometimes your skills and talents, uh, they relate to your interests, right? Obviously. And then it might be that you are interested in doing makeup. You love doing makeup. You can become a makeup artist. Um, you can do, so let's say, braiding. Everyone does braiding. Not everyone. <laughs> People that are talented, they have the skills they can do. Uh, you can open your own saloon, market your business and everything. Um, you don't even have to have a big uh, place. You can start the smallest with whatever you have at the moment. Just use that. Utilize whatever you have. Even if you are maybe at home. Um, you can start maybe from your garage. I know someone who started their nail 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 business from their their own garage and everything, and it worked, you know. And that's how they 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 progressed in life without mentioning anyone's name. Um, doing braiding at rest, we used to do this all the time. <laughs> I remember um, some of my friends also used to do braiding and everything. They they'll get income from that. Uh, get customers from that um, photography they are people that love photography and it can work start with whatever phone that you have don't now be stressed on trying to go out there buy the most expensive uh, Sony whatever brand it is uh, Samsung and all these expensive brands for cameras start with what you have you know basically that's the moral of the story and then um, also Another business that you can have is selling, basically. Um, I know, <laughs> for sure, you'll be like, oh, girl, you've been up and running. But my first business, <laughs> uh, I was actually selling at one point in my life, at dress. I was selling um, snacks, uh, mayo, apple munch, sweets, and everything. Because I wanted like an extra income as a student. Name. So that also worked for me back then. And um, this I know this is not for maybe not everyone is, is, is interested in those things. Sometimes um, I remember seeing this, but I still need to do more research. There are jobs of doing proofreading for other people, but I still need to do more research on that. So I'll definitely do part two and uh, adding more details and everything. But please make sure you comment and make me, and make me aware of what is it that you want me to elaborate on. And then, most importantly, with all this job hunting and everything, make sure that you have to get your CV right. Just get your CV correct in right format and right order. And then I will make a video about um, CV and I'll be shouting out uh, Makosuni Media. And they'll, because they also do like proper CVs and customize them up uh, correctly. And, but I'm going to make a full video on how to do also, since I said that this is a series about employment and everything, um about cvs and everything so that's it for today <laughs> and i hope whatever i said helps and make sure you try these websites so before i finish i said i'm gonna talk about precautions right so make sure that you take cautions when whatever as much as we want to get bread we want to eat right but we still need to be safe and make sure that we are still secured with whatever everything so make sure if you whenever you go to an interview make sure that you alert someone make your family member away friend whoever the person that you trust and someone you know that they'll be able to help you basically um because i don't even want to go to the politics but back then there were some stories and everything that's not nice so uh make sure that you alert 
people where you are going especially if you're going to go to social media and everything then you might find somewhere only to find out those people are scammers so they're dodgy people dodgy <laughs> dodgy people so make sure that you keep safe keep well keep your live location on to protect yourself shade with someone if you feel like you need to um if you feel like that place is not secured and make sure that you search the place beforehand if you have to do an in uh, in person interview or online interviews um but with the interviews and everything i'm still gonna make a video about that on how to prepare for the interview and everything and the precautions and everything really specific to the interviews so for now good luck with your applications make sure that you fill in your application forms correctly don't miss any scab don't miss anything indicate everything even if they want the the cover letter make the cover letter <laughs> don't be too lazy to make the cover letter and yeah that's pretty much so i hope this video helped make sure to comment like like subscribe and share with someone who you know that they're currently looking for a job and thank you so much um for your time and bye until we meet again and i hope you'll enjoy this series that i'm studying right now and i will still share more details and more information we're getting every we're getting in our bags <laughs> 2024 <laughs> bye